Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you for tuning in to my 2156th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Traders, before we get started, I just want to read you a letter. Anybody who's been thinking about coming to OmniCamp, anybody who has any ideas in their minds that this Omni not that this Omni is not everything I tell you it is in these videos. <coughs> Let me break out my binoculars for this letter I want to read you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Binocular time. You ready, kids? I don't usually wear these, so I might fall off the stage. I don't know. All right. Here we are. There's four of you out there. To... All right. Hi, Dan. This was written to... This was written not directly to me was actually written to Dan Tipton, who works with me, and he does a lot of my IT work and all sorts of great customer assistance. So this was written to Dan. Hi, Dan. My account went from 7,000 to well over six figures since March, since March till the end of last week. Before I finish reading, how about that, huh? Good for him, good for you, music to my ears. I love it. All right, so he says, my account went from 7K to well over six figures from March until last week. I told Oscar last week, after expressing my gratitude, that I was going to take a break, assimilate, and evaluate this wonderful roller coaster. I surely will be taking most of my cash out of the trading account and putting it down to a humble level. Very good, sir. Very wise. I also need to find out and fill out the tax regulation here in Australia with my accountant. I won't read any further than that because I'm not going to out the guy to his accountant or to the Australian government, but very good, sir. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to hear it. You keep up the great work. I know you will be back. In fact, he writes right at the bottom, I will be back before you notice. He just needs a, a moment to... Get off the roller coaster and go, wow, I made some money. I got to cool out for a moment. And then he'll come back. Wish you the best when you come back too, buddy. So that is how many of my traders are doing since they've met me. And you can do the same. But futures trading is extremely risky. We don't always win. I lost today. In fact, the only thing that didn't work out in last night's video was the gold trade. We had a bear flag in gold. It started off last night, went down steep. We got long, well, excuse me, we got short. It went down. I wasn't quick enough to get us out with the profit. It went up. It came back down to break even. Again, I wasn't quick enough to get us out of break even, and we lost today in gold. <laughs> so listen, this is risky. And you don't lose a little bit when you lose in gold. You get punched in the eye. You know what I'm saying? This is a risky game. But you can do really well if you put your stops in, you put them in first, you know the risks behind this game, and never use money unless it's earmarked to be lost in case something goes wrong. Now, in my buddy's case, nothing went wrong, and many of my Omniacs have that same story, I kid you not. If you've been thinking about coming out to OmniCamp, that letter should help you decide, all right? Make sure you get your butts on out there. So, for trading on Thursday, August 27th, the ES, here's what we've got on the board. Well, before we even go there, you know what's happening tomorrow morning? Cousin Jerome! Cousin Jerome's coming out around 9, 10 a.m. Eastern with a press conference. And then, basically, I think in that press conference, he's not going to talk the markets down by any means, right? Why would he do that? In fact, <clears throat> there is basically not rumor, but there is news that Tomorrow, of course, there'll be no rate shuffling, no rate movements, but there will be a reshuffling of the inflation indicators that the government uses to track inflation. And if you on the acts have been following me long enough, you've seen many videos where I stood in front of this camera and said, you know, the problem with inflation is we can't see it in our indicators anymore because they're old-fashioned and they're skewed with energy. The cost of crude and the price that the price might skyrocket at any point. And what if they what if they decide the and they decide in the Middle East in the middle of the night to turn down the spigots? That was always part of our inflation expectations. And crude would run around like crazy towards the upside. So everyone's inflation models have always been based on 
the high cost of energy, what it will cost for you to transport your goods, how fast can that price go up, those models need to be reshaped. Now, is that what the Fed's going to talk about? Is Jerome going to talk about reshuffling the models and maybe removing some energy out of them? That I don't know. But that's what I think should happen. From my point of view, we'll see what Jerome says tomorrow. But I don't think he's going to talk the markets down by any means. So I think it's safe to trade tomorrow. It's not a Fed meeting. They're not moving rates. I say he'll talk the markets up if we get a chance to get long. The email the S&P, NASDAQ, you name it, we will. But there's something interesting happening in the indices right now, if you ask me. So on the board, the E-mini S&P and NASDAQ are off and running, and boy, oh boy, are they off and running. Just fantastic. you got to love this. The Russell 2000, however, is lagging behind. Now, I am telling you, give it a couple of sessions. Fund managers aren't stupid. They're buying up the expensive stocks right now, the higher, the larger cap stocks. But when those go up enough and you see those cheap Russells sitting around, the Russell gets pulled right into the game. So I say we're going to look at a few charts about the Russell because if you give it a couple of sessions, they're going to pull that thing right up. If this rally continues, Russell's the cheap one right now. Who doesn't want the cheap stock when all the other ones get expensive? Of the indices that we trade, NASDAQ, S&P, Russell, you name it, you know, Dow training, Russell's cheap. I'll show you the charts. Then, oh my God, do I get to do a victory lap? And let me do a victory lap now. Oh, I'm taking a victory lap. Right, 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 right. I get to take a victory lap. Beginning of the year, I gave you the 3480 resistance. Told you it's not even a target, just resistance. We'll get there early in the year. And then we'll get to the resistance, the targets one and two. The resistance level was 3480. Guess where we traded on Wednesday? 3480. Now, this was put on the board before COVID, then COVID came. People wrote to me, they wrote some of them nasty letters, making funny jokes, asking, when are you going to take those stupid targets off the board? Guess who's not so stupid, huh? <laughs> Omni's very, very smart cookie. So we hit 3480. Listen, it wouldn't take anything to get to 3674. I mean, it would take nothing between now and December. So 4035 looks like. These may be shallow targets. Now, the charts look great. Jerome's coming out, right? Jerome Powell, he's going to talk the markets up. There's really, we hit already, we hit one of our resistance levels. The only really wild card that could possibly get thrown into this mix is that wacky double top weekly formation. Right now, everybody's looking at, hey, we've blasted off through it, but it's a weekly this week's not over yet. I mean, what if Jerome speaks tomorrow and the news is nasty and that weekly bar turns into a double top? Could happen, but I am not speaking from both sides. I'm calling for the upside. We're getting long tomorrow. F you, double top. Let's see what's going to happen. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. My name is Daniel. Uh, I'm from Portugal. I flew more than 15 hours to come to Omnicamp and it was the right decision. When I first th thought to come to Omnicamp, uh, I called Oscar and he only made me one promise, that it was to shave 20 years from my uh, curving line. And he was lying. He shaved all of my life. <laughs> it is so simple to learn. It is almost eerie. <laughs> and usually the best things are the simplest things, and that's what Oscar has developed here with this item. On the first day, I said, that's it? So simple? Oscar is the perfect guy. Uh, since you met him, a light on your head turns on. So uh, on the first day of Omnicamp, your life starts to start changing. Throughout this Omnicamp, uh, being as long as it is, I was expecting it's going to be a mountain of information. i got to tell you guys, it's some amazing techniques he teaches you, and some simple techniques, actually. In the end of Omnicamp, not in the end, in the third day of the Omnicamp, all of us were doing the same exactly calls that the Omni. The same exactly calls. So it's amazing the things. Oscar is a wonderful teacher, a wonderful teacher. The, th the first three recommendations we made and profited from paid for the Omnicamp. <laughs> I mean, how can you go wrong? It's, it's really, uh, if, if cost is an issue with you guys, um, you should really get that out of your head because the amount, the wealth of information you get from this guy is just unbelievable. So, based on that, I'd 
you gotta get to Omni Camp. Any chance you get, go. This is the place to come. If you ever get a chance to come to Omni Camp, seriously, you come. Traders, you are looking at the Russell 2000 Daily Bar. Now, fantastic channel, right? Every time it hits the bottom of the channel, it rallies out smartly, hits the bottom of the channel, rallies out smartly, rallies down into a, well, rallies up and then comes down into a bull flag. Now, what's interesting about the bull flag is it meets right here where this thing always catches its legs, right? It always seems to catch its legs right here. It's amazing. So, right now... What we're looking at is the possibility that Russell's just about ready to be called to the upside with the rest of the boys. Let's see what's going to happen. So let's move along. Some pretty nice charts here. Next one. See that Russell didn't look like it was moving up? But look at the Dow Jones. It's moving straight up. It broke out of the flag. Russell's in the flag. It broke out, and it's up here. All right, it broke out of that flag already. So that looks fantastic. Look at the transportation average. Bull flag, it broke out of that bull flag. It's all the way up here. That looks fantastic, even if it pulled back a little bit, breaking out of the bull flag. We look at the E-mini S&P above the double top all the way to here. This represents your double top. That's blasting off. Nothing else can be said about NASDAQ except for, wow, <laughs> look at this thing. It just keeps on going. It bounces off either side of this channel, and it just keeps on doing it. Well, looky here. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. You see how I put, of course, a, a box around it, instead of a square around it, instead of a circle, more of a rectangle. Because it's breaking out. Look, the trend line is here. Your bar is there. It's breaking out above the trend line. It usually falls back down and doesn't do that. So, so far, so good. Put your stops in because nothing, nothing means that it has to go up. But so far, so good. You put your protective stops in in case it goes the other way. And I bring you back to Russell. Now, everything I just pointed at was something that broke out of a flag and is skyrocketing. They're all sitting up here. How come the Russell is still in its flag? It is undervalued at the moment. So, if you ask me, this Russell, one more view of that exact same chart, but I took all the mumbo-jumbo off, and I just want to show you the chart. Everything else is like this. And for some reason, Russell's only down here, but once again, it meets right in this spot. I think that's a comfortable place. If you're going to take a shot at thinking Russell's going to hold, this is a comfortable area for Russell to hold in. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm not telling you to rush out and buy the Russell on Thursday. I think that you give it a couple of days, the fund managers will see this. Now, the only thing that can go wrong, kids, now just keep it in mind, and again, I'm calling for the upside, but you've got to keep this piece of analysis in mind. When you talk about a weekly chart and a weekly formation, like a double bottom, it's not over until the end of the week. Now, this is a one-week bar, it went down for three out of those five days of the week, and it looked like the end of the world. But at the end of the week, it settled up here, making that a hold. It actually worked. The double bottom worked. Now, we've got a double top and a bar that went up this far. Well, this one went down below the double bottom. If Jerome's news tomorrow tells the market that it's over for a couple of days... Well, then the fundamental will have come out, the whole reason why we had this massive double top on the weekly, and the downside will ensue, and me and my boys will get stopped out. So <laughs> let's, not, let's not hope for that side of the equation, right? In any event, this could happen. Just keep it in the back of your mind. For now, I don't believe in it. I say, F you, double top, you're out of our hair. Let's keep moving forward, but knowing it's a weekly bar, and until Friday, it has not resolved. Then we go to my nemesis for trading on Wednesday. <laughs> so, I told you we had a bear flag and I was expecting downside and the market opened and boom, 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 it really did start to go. And really, this was my target. I thought, all right, we get to that bottom line, it's $27, $30 in gold, I'll take that much. But it stopped cold, went back up, and we got in and it came back down, but I wasn't quick enough to take the profit. And it went back up, and then it came back down to break even, and I wasn't quick enough to get out there. And at the end of the day, we got out. So it's kind of still in the flag, 
but we're not going to sell it again on Thursday, that's for sure. In fact, I'm not going to do anything with gold because the indices look just too appetizing. So, traders, you've seen the charts. Uh, that's my story, and I'm just sticking to it. That's it, that's it, that's it. We're going up tomorrow, unless that stupid double top comes to haunt me. In any event, off and running. Showed you the charts, right? They're absolutely off and running. Russell lagging. You know, if I was a fund manager, I wouldn't let that last for too long. So I don't think any of the fund managers will either. Give it a couple of days. Target hit, 3480. Well, resistance hit. Target one now, 36.74. The thing about it is we got up to 34.80 so fast, we can get to 36.74, you know, before I finish my next 18 videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could happen that fast. So keep an eye on that. Um, again, I will say it one more time. Just remember that crazy double top because the week is not over till Friday and it really, really could end up being a down week and that double top could end up working in the end. Back burner, because we're buying the dips. Just keep it in the back burner. I want you to make sure your stops are in just in case that happens. All right, just keep your stops in. Put them in first. Be safe. All right, traders, we still have a few days left this week. Make sure you join me at LiveWithOscar.com. You Omnicampers, you, read that, you heard that letter, right? If you want to repeat those results for yourself, and boy, I'm not going to guarantee that to you, but I have others who can say the same. If you want to repeat those results for yourself, I have an Omnicamp starting September 10th. It's September 10th through the 15th, five nights, four days here in Vegas. Three students only, one open seat. Call me, 702-629-4755. Call me quickly. I've got to order some supplies. I've got to get you ready. If you would like to do really well, of course, your stops go in first. And like I said, no guarantees, but I don't have an Omniac who graduated Omnicamp that I know of that didn't do well if they used the Omni techniques when they went home. I kid you not, God's honest truth, that may be out there. No one's contacted me to say, Oscar, your techniques didn't work ever, ever, ever since I started these camps. You will be very happy with what you get if you decide to come out to Omni Camp. All right, traders, again, we got a couple of days left in this week, right? It's basically midweek. You got Wednesday night to Thursday, Thursday night to Friday, a lot of time to go. Keep your powder dry unless the market hits one of your levels to get in or get out at. If you don't know what to do, join me in my live trading room. I'll try to help you out there. And keep your emotions out of trading. I'm telling you right now, emotional decisions are the worst thing you can do when you trade. Make sure you don't do that. Plan a trade. Trade that plan. And then say this to yourselves. Every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because I think this can really help you in the end, and you know what that is. Stops tuning in. Please make sure you subscribe to these videos. Leave comments below. I will answer them and I will see you all at livewithoscar.com. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.